And you just get a funny feeling every time you come back here. The search for answers at a former school for boys. Now at 6, the investigation inside this quiet Florida town where people kept quiet about the deaths of dozens of boys. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Wendy Ryan. And I'm Brendan McLaughlin. Families who have been waiting decades may soon get the answers they demand. The Dozier School for Boys in Florida's Panhandle is days away from being designated a massive crime scene. Dozier was shuttered two years ago after allegations of serial abuse and murder. Today, USF researchers and Senator Bill Nelson toured the grounds and our Carson Chambers was invited to join them. The north that you see all along, you know, into the woods, this is all was cleared as we did the work. We got our first look inside the now defunct Dozier School for Boys in Mariana, Florida, where stories of severe beatings, even missing boys, still haunt the tiny panhandle town. We were uncovering you know, what was clearly grave shafts. It may also be the last time our cameras are allowed here because in just days, the state-owned property will likely be declared a crime scene. And if the court will give the order to exhume the bodies, have them examined, and to determine if there were crimes committed. Dr. Erin Kimmerly and her team of USF researchers have spent months here. Ground penetrating radar reveals there are 50 unmarked graves, nearly 20 more than the state found. We know the grave sites are all over here. Now a court order sits on a judge's desk with a signature. He could set into motion a massive exhumation that'll require $200,000 in state funding. U.S. Senator Bill Nelson says there's also $3 million in federal funding to help identify an unknown number of bodies. The Dozier School was shut down in 2011 after allegations of severe beatings and suspicious deaths. Now we were invited inside the property today for the first time and when you see the mattresses and the bunk beds and the pillows still on the ground, it gives you a sense of how alone these boys must have felt. We also got our first look inside what's known as the White House. Adults who survived Dozier report being sexually assaulted and tortured inside these small cells. Their screams floating out through bars on the window. Now there's hope, their voices, all these years later, will be heard. In Mariana, Florida, Carson Chambers, ABC Action News.